Welcome to Lakeshore RV. I'll be walking you through your torque. On your very front compartment here, you're gonna have your 12 volt battery. Your generator here. Generator, you got two breakers right here. Just make sure you start the generator with the breakers off. You gotta push and hold prime. Then you gotta push and hold start for five seconds. And then just turn it off. You're just gonna push very bottom one side. Here on the right, you got a toggle switch. That's gonna control the docking lights. You got your leveling control system here. Um, to bring power to this panel, you gotta push up and down at the exact same time. A green light will appear. Uh, up and down is gonna control the front legs only. Auto level is gonna level out your unit. Hitch height is gonna bring it to that location. Right before auto level, retract all is gonna bring all your jacks. Coming down the side, you're gonna have uh, one of your 30 pound LP tanks, both full. Regulator's gonna be on the passenger side. If that LED ever goes red on that leveling here, come back to the digital panel here. This is the digital for the leveling. It'll tell you exactly what's happening. Going to the right here, you're gonna have inlet for water. You're gonna have tank fill, dry camp, and city fixtures. Winterization, point it all the way down. Out, outside shower, hot and cold. Black tank flush, just know that when, before you hook up your black tank flush, has the valves open and connected to the ground. You're gonna have a furnace exhaust that gets extremely hot, so make sure nothing's leaning up against it when you start your furnace. You're gonna have four inlets for cable, one inlet for satellite. Low point drains are going to be right here. Coming past your slide, you're going to find uh, the rear bathroom poles as well as the connection and black tank flush. You have your fuel pump for your auxiliary nozzle. That This is where you inlet for the fuel auxiliary nozzle inside. You have a 50 amp hookup, drop down gate or porch for the rear with the rear awning. On the back passenger side, you're going to find the access into the garage. In between both of your doors, you're going to find your entertainment center. Your entertainment center is going to have the LED light switch here, as well as you got a stove top and uh, outdoor sink when it's hot and cold. Just know the fire or the the fridge is not going to work without shore power. You're going to have your two speakers out here that are controlled by zones from inside radio. You're going to have your awning lights and awning controlled by the panel. Right past the main door, you're going to find your water heater as well as your inside the pass-through. You're going to find a water heater bypass as well as the battery disconnect here. Your 30 to 50 amp adapter as well as your 30 to 15 amp adapter. You're going to find your other 30 pound LP tank. Regulator is going to be right here. On the top, you get to the black knob. Turn it to the left to use the uh, driver's side tank. Point it to the right to use the passenger side tank. Coming inside your coach, right to the right, you're gonna find this cabinet. It's gonna be right above your JBL radio system. Any switch not labeled inside your unit is gonna be a light monitoring levels. You just push and hold, that's gonna show you um, water pump, water heater, your gas side, water heater, your electric side. So above you'll you would be able you could start your generator from here. You're gonna have your slide controls here. Just know when you're operating your bedroom side, have the bathroom door closed and the bedroom door open. Awning is controlled here as well as the awning light. Your JBL audio, you have three zones, A, B, and C. One's gonna be the garage, one's gonna be living room, one's gonna be outside. You have breakers and fuses down on the bottom here. You're gonna find a few thermostats throughout your unit. Just tap this one time to change the mode. So you'll have mode, heat, furnace, furnace, AC, or fan. Of course, the arrows adjust the time. Coming into master bedroom here. Master bedroom, you're gonna have tap lights uh, with switches on the bottom, as well as inside the charging shelf station. On each side, you're gonna have USB as well as outlets for charging your accessories. Another uh, light up above your master bed. There's gonna be a light switch over here. You're gonna find yourself a light switch as well as uh, the the bed lift. So it, there's a safety feature if your bed is out 
it will not allow the slide to move. So during transportation or where you want to operate that slide, have this bed in upright position. It's done by the big, big switch here. Little switch is the LED light above. The master bath can be accessed into from the hallway or the master bedroom. You're going to find right at that corner, you're going to find your thermostat for the master bedroom as well as the light switch. Right when you walk in, right down in the bathroom, right above the toilet, you're going to find the master or the light switch. You got a GFI breaker right to the left of the sink. Then this bathroom is also accessible from the hallway. Slide, you got your slide light right to the right, as well as the, off to the left, you're gonna find your 55 inch TV. You're gonna find the LED lighting underneath. There's a switch right here. Above the shelves, the cabinets, those lights are controlled at the panel. Underneath the cabinets, you're gonna find individual tap lights that you gotta turn on and off by the button in the center. Right to the right here, you're gonna find your fan controls for above in the kitchen as well as yeah your keys are wrapped around your sink going inside your garage you're gonna have individual tap lights right underneath the cabinets you're gonna find more lights as well as fan operations uh, awning extending as well as bed lift control the bed lift control is going to operate this couch. This couch is only one on the chain system, so you have to use the couch to bring down the bed. The, you bring the couch all the way in the upright position as shown. You're going to have four little pins, one at each corner of that bed. You're going to pull those pins, and then you're going to bring down the couch, and the, the bed's going to stop on a peg system inside the track system. As you see there, there it is adjustable, so you can make it a different height. And then... Um, during transportation, just make sure having it in the upright position. It is not on a track system, so it'll sit there and bounce. Here is your back bathroom. Light switch off to the left, as well as the level. You can check the level of the waste out of this bathroom. You're going to have your prepped and ready for a washer and dryer. Nice size loft area up above. Power cords on the floor in the garage. I hope this video helped. Thank you for choosing Lakeshore.